Oh man, I thought I had the flower power thing, man. Must not be working. Yeah. Damn, I look like I kind of just woke up or something. 2022, y'all. Slowly coming. I see they got the um, sanitation trucks out here with the salt and with the, um, they call that the plow. Yeah. And I can kind of smell the snow in the air somewhat. You know, like when you like are tuning in, you can kind of tell when it's going to rain, when it's going to snow, you know, X, Y, and Z. Yeah. Had to come out and get some air, man. You know? Then I said, yo, walk. You know, I took this um, stuff called Shilajit. I hope I'm saying it correctly because we get ready to um, start um, putting that up. The Shilajit gives you energy um, for the men, you know, helps out, you know, with them other issues. Thank God I don't got those issues, you know. Matter of fact, you know, um, I think yesterday I was speaking about decisions. Now... I guess I'll do a quick live about issues. You know, um, you know, we've been down here for a while, like in the earth for a while to know hopefully what our issues are. And um, in knowing what your issues are, you know, a, a lot of those issues, people probably like brought them to your attention because of certain situations you may have been involved in. You know, whether it have been arguments, misunderstandings, miscommunications, misconceptions, misreflections, like just a whole lot of, you know, misses. And so those things kind of created issues. So in understanding issues, you know, we want to like um, face the issues. Um get answers to why we're having issues, make some changes so that we don't keep having issues, and um, really looking at what triggers those issues that we, um, that we come across, that we have, you know, the ones inside of us, the ones outside, and, um, you know, um, making some serious changes by getting the answers that, you know, will help us make those changes. Because a lot of times people are not able to change because they don't have the answers, they don't have the solutions, or what it is is that, you know, um, they're not aware, or they're stuck in their ways, or, um, you know, it could be a whole lot of factors, mental illness, um, you know, just a whole lot of different factors pertaining to issues and why they happen and why they come up and stuff like that and why many of us have those, you know, various issues, you know, issues, you know. So, um, you know, we want to really, like, really look at ourselves, look at our issues and, you know, work on um, changing ourselves so that we can stop having issues, I mean, life, you're going to always have issues, but we're talking about those issues that are unnecessary. Unnecessary issues that can be avoided, that can be mended, worked out, that can be overcome, you know, and a lot of times that require, you know, change, you know, like changing, you know, nothing, nothing is going to get better. If you're not willing to change, you know, nothing is going to get better if, you know, you're not willing to make some changes. Nothing is not going to get better if you're not going to speak up for yourself, stand up for yourself, you know, um, go deeper within yourself. Like I made mention yesterday when I did the uh, live about decisions, 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 decisions are going to have to be made to you know, in order to deal with issues, you know, I don't know about you, but, you know, um, many of us do New Year's, um, I think it's called resolutions and stuff like that. One thing I learned 
more and more and more. It's good to have New Year's resolutions, you know, but it's also good to have New Year's solutions that you're going to be um, um, enacting in your life minute by minute, moment by moment, day by day, hour by hour, month by month, and year by year, because those are commitments to yourself. You know, it's like we want to recommit to ourselves. It's very, very important that we commit to ourselves. You can commit to the job, to school, to your relationship, and you know, to your children, your family, and loved ones, but, but are you committing to yourself? You know, because a lot of times we give all our energy to outside, you know, we want to make sure everybody's okay, you know? And then that creates issues because we don't get a chance, you know, to like heal ourselves, to work on ourselves. I think I'm at the um, connected battery pack because I think I got like 40 on the, um, the battery life. I got this little portable small battery pack. I think I'll post it so if, like, if you want to get you a battery pack that's not bulky and, you know, clunky and big, you know. But, um, see, the goal of healing, the goal of, um, I'm connecting this pack, that's why I'm kind of pausing, the goal of, like, you know, dealing with issues is um, being honest with yourself because you're looking at yourself. Okay, the battery pack is booming now. See, that's the whole kick. You want to really look at yourself. Like, look at yourself. Like, go to the mirror. You know, that's a form of mirror therapy. You know, and... um. Look at yourself and ask yourself some questions. Really talk to yourself. That don't make you crazy. Talk to yourself. Look at all parts of your life or what makes you who you are. You know, like your family, your friends, you know, your relationships. Look at all of that stuff. Look at everything. Look at it. You know, we don't want to be, like, breathing in and out, right? Just bear with me, y'all, because um, it's a little nippy out, you know, and I'm not too far from my house, so. And for some reason, this little area where I'm at, like I had made mention prior when COVID first hit, I was coming up in the park, and then I started, like, doing a lot of lives and stuff like that, and I found it to be very therapeutic, you know, because... You know, fear kind of had set in, but then I had to go into the past and, and think about all the different things that I went through. And I said, man, I got through that. I'm a, like those things. If I got through what I've been through, I know I can get through practically anything, you know. And so I'm saying that to everybody that's listening to this live, you know, later or whatever, you know. Look at what you've been through. And if you got through that, then you can get through anything. You know? So let's get back to the, the topic of issues. Because everything is an issue. It could be a good issue. It could be a bad issue. It could be an issue where, you know, you don't even understand it. But then over time, you know, you start getting answers to stuff. Like a lot of stuff that may have happened to us, like, you know, like growing up as, 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 as kids, children, or as a child. You know, growing up in the world. You know, and so like we come into this world, you know, with, you know, you know, like with happiness, with joy and stuff like that. You know, like if you look at children, like they don't come in with all the baggage. They don't come in with the baggage that we get as we get bigger. They come in baggage free. The only baggage they may come in with is they want to eat, they want to sleep, right? They want to be held, right? And, you know, you got to change their diaper, right? Now, I was watching a show. I think it was an Oprah show. And then I saw something else, too. Um, I think a, a documentary or something I read. Let me just say how powerful, like, the creative forces are. 
The creative forces that bring us all into this world is so powerful that even as babies, we still communicate and do certain things so that we can get what we need even as babies. It's like a hidden unseen language that is known that the babies have within them and they are cognizant, cognizant of or conscious of that they do certain things to get us adults to do certain things pertaining to taking care of them. That's how deep this is. That's how deep it is, I'm telling you. So what I'm saying is that intelligence takes on many different forms. And the only way you're gonna understand that is if you are going within and you are cleaning and clearing up and out those things that block you from seeing what it is you need to see. And if you aren't able to do that, you're gonna have some issues. And um, depending on um, the frequency of your ignorance, they say ignorance is bliss. I used to think that, but ignorance is not bliss. It's not. To me, it's not bliss. Because when you, when, well, then again, maybe it could be pertaining to the situation. You know? But to me, the more you know, the more you grow. But it's not what you know. It's what you use. And I always tell my daughter, my daughter's going to be 11 soon. I always tell her, people talk every day. They have conversations every day. Right? And a lot of us, we're very intelligent, we're very smart, and so on and so forth. But the key is, it's not what you know. I mean, it is what you know. But it also is what you use. Meaning, all the information you got, all the knowledge you got, all the wisdom you got, all the understanding you got, all the different things that you know. It's what you use that will predict your issues. Your situation, you know, your happiness, your sadness, your motivation, whatever, you know, you're dealing with in life. Everybody has situations and issues. Good, bad, whatever. Small, medium, large, whatever. Different variations, different times, different situations, elevations, all of that. Manifestations, proclamations trying to figure it out and all that stuff. We all deal with that. But the information, the good information, the solid information that we use pertaining to any given situation or pertaining to specific situations is going to have a certain outcome and is going to detail the issue and how we can resolve the issue, understand the issue, work through the issue, because some issues don't never go away. So now we got tools that we will use that will help us at, um, deal with situations and issues as they come up. You know, because we all have problems, which are, which can be issues. You know, so by having the right tools. Right? The right understanding of how to use the information, which is the tools, we get a better gauge of understanding issues. And issues basically, looking at them, um, an issue is a situation, an issue is a circumstance, an issue is um, something that you're facing, that you're dealing with at any given time. Some of us carry issues, we're still carrying issues. And if you want to be able to be more aware of what are my issues, because sometimes you may not see what your issues are, but others see them. You know, and if they bring them to your attention, sometimes we're defiant, sometimes we are, uh, man, you don't know what you're talking about, I'm grown. I got this, I got that, you can't tell me how to live my life, X, Y, and Z, blah, blah, blah. And so the thing is, 
and understanding, well, honestly, having an understanding of issues, of your issues, my issues, our issues, the world's issues, and then having an honest understanding of, you know what, I need to change. I really need to get my shit together. Or they need to get their shit together. Or we need to get our shit together. <laughs> you know? So it's like, man, those issues, when you look at them, you be like, if you're honest, you got to be honest. You got to be honest. It is nippy out. You know, but um, I'm not far from home. But you got to really be honest and um, understand that I need to really do some work on myself so I can get better with myself. Remember, you have to get better with yourself first and foremost. That's that's the key component right there, getting better with yourself first and foremost. And then once you get better with yourself first and foremost, that means you're getting honest with yourself. You are sincerely, honestly looking at yourself and saying, I am willing. Say it. I am willing. You got to be willing. I am willing to get better with myself. And as you get better with yourself, you're going to be more kinder. You're going to treat yourself better. And that deals with many different levels. Taking care of yourself. I mean, it deals with a lot of levels. Eating right, thinking right. And even if you get negative thoughts and stuff, you got tools to help you offset them. Because, I mean, I mean, even with all the information, right, there will still be different things that will come up. And, and I'm going to tell you why those things come up. Okay, I'm going to tell you why those things come up. The reason why those things will come up and continue to come up is to see if you are working on the issues. Yeah. That's, that's why those things sometimes, you know, like a situation to happen, you'd be like, damn, man, I thought I had myself together, man. Why did I act like that? You know? But that is meant to happen, and I'm going to tell you, it's meant to happen so that you can see Okay, I still got to do some more work. I'm still, I still have remnants of issues, you know? And um, now, if you are conscious and honest with yourself, you're going to gently say, okay, I made a mistake, I messed up, I kind of spazzed out, or how they say it went from zero to 100 or whatever. And so now, if you're honest with yourself and you're willing to change, Right? Because change is, I'm using tools. You got to have certain tools. And the biggest tool that you're going to have to have if you want to change your life is honestly looking at what's wrong inside. And then I was reading in this book. It's a crystal book, too. Tracing. Tracing entails, and I'm still mulling the information over because I don't like to get on live and talk about stuff. Not unless I know what I'm talking about and I can say, yeah, this is something that others need to hear. Because once I get the information, I want to share it, you know. So, tracing, meaning going back into the past, into the moment, into the time, and looking at the dysfunction, looking at the pain, the anger, looking at what was missing, what was not there, what you didn't get, what you didn't find, what you didn't know. Tracing, going back. And I'm not saying like reliving the past. I'm not saying that. Because reliving the past means that you are continue, continuing in the same behavior pattern. You know, you're doing the same stuff. And I guess many of us, hopefully we're not and if we are, then that's where the tracing comes in. And, you know, before you can trace, you got to have a, the, the honesty and the willing. The willing, the, the, will, the will has to be 
honest enough to see the issue or the issues towards bringing about a conscious inner outer change. Because we can get dressed up, wear nice stuff, put cologne on, perfume on, right, new clothes on, driving cars and homes and X, Y, and Z, getting money and all of that. But if we don't deal with what's really wrong, we're not going to fully understand the material aspects of what we got because that will add on more to the issues. I'll give them an example. People who ain't never had nothing, who get a little something, something, all of a sudden they thinking they better than everybody. They forgot where they came from. They forgot the struggle, blah, blah, blah. They looking down on people, talking about people. You know what I'm saying? I think the word is called, um, well, it's various words. Sense of entitlement, snooty, or whatever. You know, uh, 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 um, I forgot, but there's one word we used to always use. What did it come to me? So, and understanding when we get material stuff, whatever you might get, you know what I'm saying? We want to make sure that emotionally we are connecting um, the dots of honesty so that we don't get caught up, get lost, get overwhelmed, or get swamped, or even let things go to our head. Right. Let things go to our head. You know, to where, um, you know, we haven't worked on our issues. So now, you know, um, we, you know, we got some, uh, s some added stuff. This is why sometimes you see people like you may see them like they got like it, it look like they got everything going for them. The next thing you hear, um, they, you know, um, uh, um, alcoholic, drug addict, um, you know, just all kind of dysfunctions going on. But yet you look and you say, damn, they got everything, man. Why are they going through that? I'm going to tell you why. And it's not, I'm not judging. It's not judging. It's understanding. It's because if we don't work on our inner stuff, we can get all that other stuff and we still will not be in the proper frequency to, um, no, 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 towards um, correctly using those things correctly as a benefit to our life path and to other people who we may come in contact with that may need some kind of help from us, some kind of direction from us, some kind of guidance from us because we are so out of touch with true self that we're just causing added situations, bringing extra issues, which is unnecessary because, see, a lot of times we think, oh, if I get the house, I get the car, I get the right relationship, I get the money, I get the job, I'm going to be all right. And many of us has gotten all of that and may have messed all that up. Why? Why do people get certain things and they just mess it up or they still having problems? That's because they haven't dealt with the inner issues. Now, remember, we're not judging. We don't want to judge. We want to understand. So this way, we hopefully don't make those mistakes. Everything that's going on in front of us is a visual of either you can... Remember that song? You can get with this or you can get with that. I forgot the name of the group. Yeah, you can get with this or you can get with that. The goal, the sole goal is we want to be free as we breathe in and out and we want to make sure that we are not harming ourselves, we're not harming others, we're not creating issues, we're working on our issues, we are freeing ourselves from a lot of that shit, that stuff, that pain, um, those replacements of replacing what was not given to us as we was growing, those replacements of trying to fill those holes and gaps and voids in our life with, you know, some of the things that we may have done, did, or whatever the case may be. So we want to clearly, honestly, willingly come clean within so that we can see the world for what it really is 
and grow stronger within ourselves so that no matter what is going on outside of us, we are cosmically free. Now, I hope you understand what I'm saying here. So that we are cosmically free. Why? Because we don't want to live um, with burdens. I'm talking about burdens of issues that we know if we just still ourselves, quiet ourselves, get honest with ourselves, free ourselves, we could be more happier and more at peace and has nothing to do with money. It has nothing to do with the stuff we got, stuff we accumulated over the years. It's just that we have willingly and honestly freed ourselves um, 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 have gotten a better understanding of how we think, how we work, how it works, how it thinks. <laughs> so when we encounter situations, we can have a better gauge before we engage, before we seal the engagement. And I ain't talking about getting married or nothing. I'm talking about you gauge, meaning you check things out before you even get involved, before you even say yes to anything. First, let me make sure I got myself together inside first and foremost. Boom. So I'm gauging, meaning I'm looking, I'm, I'm observing. I'm using my senses so that, it can, so that it can all make sense. You know, because a lot of times we use our senses and then, you know, the stuff don't make no sense. So we want to make sure we're using our senses so that it can all make sense. That's number one. So we're gauging. Now, once we feel that it's worth, after we've gauged, meaning observe, find out what the plans are and X, Y, and Z, and still cover ourselves. So if what it is we're involved in may not pan out, we've covered ourselves so we can stand strong if things don't work out. Even though we may be coming from a pure intent those situations they may not because they are not doing what it is that we are doing we are safekeeping and safeguarding ourselves and so as we flow in frequency we we'll understand that okay I put um, good efforts out I put good energy out but maybe it wasn't properly received or it wasn't properly understood because they are not in the full frequency of my full frequency and I'm not saying that they have to do what you're doing but they have to be doing some kind of healing and you know like honest stuff and willing to like um, um, get themselves together um, change okay and even in that you will have less problems and less issues if you're dealing with um, I'm not going to say folks, I'm going to say frequencies, okay? I'm going to say frequencies. If you're dealing with frequencies um, that's similar to yours, they may not think like you, but they're doing certain patterns um, or they have certain patterns that you say, okay, yeah, I understand that. You know, I can see that they're working on themselves. I can see that they're healing. You know, I can see that they're making, you know, positive changes and stuff like that. I can see that they ain't got a lot of issues. See, that's another thing, too. Once you start going deep within, you can see who got issues and who don't. And then you can gauge before you engage of even having any kind of um, interactions with anyone, whoever it may be. Why? Because you have been... Um, looking within, um, working on yourself, um, and kind of like what I said earlier, honestly and willingly doing what's necessary to get yourself together and keep yourself together so that way you can be happy. You can be um, filled with love. You ain't got to look for love. You are love. Yeah, you ain't got to look for love. You are love. Say it. I am love. So if you know and understand that you are love, you don't got to look for love because love is in you. You know what I'm saying? And like 
a lot of times we don't even realize what we got because we're so busy looking outside at what others got. We trying to like match, match, match. How would I say this? Trying to. Um, I need. To, it'll come to me because it is getting a little nippy out here. So let me sure the battery pack's on. So basically, let me tie in the three things because I was because sometimes I can. But I'm gonna tie it in. We want to use everything that we understand or use what it is that we're coming into, which is good, which is pure, which is the best resolve, the best pathway to keep us out of unnecessary issues, working more on our issues, better understanding in or out of issues. That's number one. Number two, we want to understand that. Because I was talking about babies. Babies, they do certain things so that you as a, an adult can do certain things to make sure that they are well taken care of. Okay? So what I'm saying is that signals and intelligence is already in nature. It's in us. A lot of times we have become so covered with issues and layers of this and layers of that that we have kind of lost a true sense of how we work and what it is that we can do to keep us functioning um, um, accordingly to what it is we need to be doing to where we need to be doing and what it is we need to be doing in our life path purpose meaning you're breathing in and out you're breathing in and out that is what um dictates that you are living <sighs> breathing in and out that's how you know you're alive because you're breathing in and out okay so we don't want to be breathing in and out if you have been breathing in and out and you've been having just a whole lot of stuff going on, welcome to life. Welcome to the club. We all have been dealing with various different things, but what we wanna do is we wanna have a solution. We wanna have keys. We wanna have answers. We wanna have the right information, right? The right mind, thought, frequency. The right inner looking. I've been looking. I'm going deep. I'm going deep. And I'm going to keep going deep. I'm not going to let anything distract me from me. And because a lot of times we have let things distract us from us. Where we have devalued who we are. Or we may have gotten lost. But it's not about... Um, it's not about putting down. I want to say this again. Yeah, it's getting nippy, and, and um, I got a feeling that it will be snowing. So, but I'm going to I'm going to still, you know, continue to live. So what I'm saying here is this: this is what I'm saying. We're not judging ourselves. We're not beating ourselves up. We're not putting ourselves down. If you have done that, if you're doing that, I'm gonna say to you right now: stop, stop, stop. Sometimes we do things because we don't know no better. Or we do know better, but we don't give a shit. So we just do it anyway. Why? Either for desire or pleasure or greed or whatever. I mean, you know, you might be in a certain situation and circumstance where you had no choice but to do certain things. You know what I'm saying? And, I, and, and like what I'm saying is that we want to factor in the reality of our reality. Factor in the reality of your reality. Everybody has their reality. But I will say this. If you truly want to be free. You want to make sure that the reality that you're factoring in. Is a reality that you can live with. It's a reality that you ain't got to worry about. <coughs> excuse me. Um, a whole bunch of stuff coming at you. As far as issues. Because the goal is we want to free ourselves from issues. That are overwhelming and we want to find causative causes that will bring about solutions to any situation that may come our way. Why? 
Because this is why we in the earth. You're in this earth to figure it out. You're not in this earth to be walking around, don't know what's going on, lost in the sauce, confusion, disillusion, and so on and so forth. No. You're not even in this world, you know what I'm saying? Um, um, I just lost my train of thought because I'm, I'm more focused on just getting a little nippy out. It's already nippy. So what I'm just saying is this here, right? The will, the will, the honesty, right? Um, yeah, I'm going to start walking, y'all, okay? Um, you know, you really understanding what your power is. You know, you got power. We all have power, Okay? We all have power, right? And so, understand and say to yourself, say to yourself and look at yourself and say, how have I been using my power? What have I been using my power for? Am I using my power that's going to put me and keep me in winning situations? Meaning, win. What is a win? A win is where, man, everything is beautiful. I'm, I'm smiling. I'm happy. I'm at peace. You know what I'm saying? I am love. I figured it all out. I got a sense of direction. When I'm wrong, I can say, hey, you know, you shouldn't have did that. And now let me do some soul work. Let me do some inner healing work. And let me continue to get myself together. Let me continue to elevate myself let me continue to um, really look at what it is that I am doing that is working for me. And let me also look at the things that may not be no longer working for me. Because a lot of times, information that we have is outdated. It's outdated. Yeah. You know? And like I was looking at some of the things that I feel, some of the things that I think. I said, yo, man, listen, dude, 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 it's outdated. Why are you still holding on to some, nah, man, it's time for you, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to be real with y'all. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I'm not going to lie to y'all because many of y'all, many of y'all, right, and I'm keeping it real. Okay, and I'm also, you know, I'm observing the traffic as I cross the street. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But um, many of y'all have met me, many of y'all. And if you haven't met me, you're meeting me now. So, and like, you know, we speak on real, genuine stuff pertaining to this human experience. All of it is an experience. For y'all who just coming on the live, you may want to rewatch the live because, um, you know, the creator allowed me to really, really speak about some stuff, some heavy stuff, you know, and basically it was on my issues, you know, for y'all to just coming in or whatever, you can watch it because I'm going to um, save the video, hopefully, you know, I can be able to save and post it to the page and stuff. So let me just kind of like get back in the flow because then I'm going to kind of wind it down. Now. Issues, okay? We all deal with issues. We go through issues. Life is about issues. But it's the way that we deal with the issues. It's the way we look at the issues. It's the way that we understand the issues that will determine um, two things or multiple things. How you respond, how you react, how you feel about yourself, um, and as well as... Um, Others who you may encounter who have issues, okay? Because I don't know about you, but a lot of times I look at situations, I be like, man, that used to be me, man, wow. I remember I used to be kind of like acting like that, responding like that. But see, when you start healing, when you really start healing, and like the only way that you're really going to heal is you got to like have the will to want to heal. If you don't have the will to want to heal, and I mean honestly wanting to heal, 
Remember, it's not about putting yourself down, right? I always want to say that. We're not putting ourselves down for some of the ways, things, like, you know, whatever. We're not, we're not doing that. Why? Because we don't have to. Because we know that we have um, done some things. I'm talking about done some things as far as the healing. You know what I'm saying? The confessing. Conf- yeah, confess to yourself. You ain't got to go nowhere and make confess. Oh, I did this, yeah. No, confess to yourself. How do you do that? You, you do the tracing. Like I said, for y'all that just came on the live, I mean, the tracing, I, I'm, I'm going to go over the tracing. Tracing means you're looking at every aspect of your life if you can remember that far back. And you're going to look at everything. The good, the bad, what you felt was missing, um, what they didn't give you, what you didn't give yourself, what information you didn't have, all of that stuff. That's called tracing. I have read about that in the book. I have the book, and um, I'm still mulling it over. I'm still going over it. And so what you're going to do is you're going to go back. I just had deja vu just now. You're going to go back in time. I'm not saying relive it, but you may have to relive it in your mind to get the answers and solutions that you need to free yourself from whatever it may be. If you're dealing with anxiety, if you're dealing with you don't like crowds, if you're dealing with um, um, distrust issues, if you're dealing with like whatever you went through, whatever you went through, whatever you've been through, whatever you went through, whatever you've been through. You know what I'm saying? Because this is what we want to do. Because many people, they do the New Year's resolution. Okay, that's beautiful. But we're going to do the New Year's solution. Because, you know, we're not coming into this year and we're not coming into no more years, right? Still carrying some stuff that with the right information and talking and getting with the right people, we can get the answers that we need to cosmically free ourselves, to cosmically love ourselves, to cosmically take care of ourselves, to cosmically get better with ourselves on a deeper level. This is what I want y'all to do. This is what I want you to do. If you're going to love anybody, love yourself first and foremost. If you're going to take care of anybody and look out for anybody, take care of yourself and look out for yourself first and foremost. If you're looking for love, stop looking for love because you are love. Stop looking for love. You are love. Find who you are, know who you are, be who you are. Go deeper and deeper into codified truth of knowing this is how I'm going to start living. I done looked at everything. I see that a lot of stuff is not like who I am, who I want to be, or what I thought I was, and then I'm seeing like, you know, my, my, you know, like my surroundings and situations and alliances and interactions and relationships, they're not really what I feel that I really need to make me feel like whole and true and strong and awakened and so on and so forth. So now, what do you do? I'm not saying cut folks off because some of those situations are people close to us. But what I'm saying is that you want to have the right information to know how to navigate safely as you deal with those situations and no longer run away from those situations. But do not no longer let those situations tamper with what it is that you are about in your healing process, in your elevation process, in the newness of who you are within yourself that you have come to find within as you listen to my voice. So cosmic.